pipes around the house. In this video, I'm going to show you how to attach angle bead to a masonry wall using plaster, like this. There are other methods of attaching the angle bead to a wall according to what surface you're attaching it to, and I'll explain how to do this in my other videos. I put web links to those videos in the description section below, and there will be pop up web links throughout this video, so please go and take a look. As you can see here, we've got our corner bit of masonry wall. And for this example, I'm just using the multi-finish plaster that I'm going to plaster the wall with to attach the bead to the corner. The first thing we have to do is mix up some PVA with water and put that on the wall below the bead. On an old wall like this, you should always apply PVA first before applying any plaster. This helps reduce the speed of absorption and avoids cracking with your plaster. Now, even when we're attaching the angle bead, I like to put PVA under the plaster before we do this. So in my bucket here, I've got a mix of three parts water to one part PVA. Now always check the back of the PVA that you're using, because if you use like an extra strong one, you may need to thin it out a bit more, maybe five to one. I find three to one is usually okay on a wall like this. If you've got an older wall, which may absorb the plaster a bit quicker, it may require a slightly thicker mix, in which case sometimes on the cheaper PVAs, I like to do a two to one. But for this wall, I'm gonna stick with a three to one and see how we go. And it simply mix three parts water to one part PVA. Mix it in a bucket and just stir it around with your paintbrush like that and then I'll just apply this with the brush now. Before we plaster the wall we need to PVA the whole wall but just to put this bead on I'm just going to PVA the edge. Just paint it on with a brush like that. The reason I'm only PVA in the corner for now is I'm going to go and mix a small bit of plaster. I'm going to apply the plaster, apply the bead and then while the bead's set in and going off I can PVA the rest of the wall and then I can go out and mix up my main bit of plaster to plaster the whole wall. That's purely me just managing my time. If you want to PVA the whole wall at once, go for it. We'll need to do two coats of PVA over the whole wall before we apply the plaster. There we are, that's enough for now. Now that'll dry off and go slightly tacky, at which point I can put the plaster on. So for this, I'm mixing it by hand, and you can see I've literally got a tiny bit of water in the bucket, and we're just going to add the plaster with a trowel by hand, and I'm going to mix it by hand, because I don't need much of this at all for the moment. So that's three scoops of multi-finished plaster has gone in there with a bit of water. I'll just mix that together now and see how we go. Don't want this mix too wet when you're attaching a bead because you want it to dry off really quick. And you want it quite firm to hold the bead in place. Once you've got your plaster to a nice texture like that, so that when you turn your trowel upside down, it just sticks to the trowel. It's about ready. And we just want to leave that now for about five minutes before we apply it to the wall and you'll find that it'll stiffen up a little bit more. As always, keep a bucket of clean water handy. Give your chores a quick clean before we carry on with the plastering. Let's measure the height we need for the bead and give the bead a trim down to size. So I've used the measuring tape, I've measured this down to size. The way we cut this is simple. You just get your tin snips, cut from the outside in towards the centre, like that. But don't go through the middle hard section. Then just do the same on the other side. Again, leaving the middle in place like that. And if you just fold this backwards like that, forwards, and it just comes off, that simple. And then it's what you can do if you like, which I like to do, is just take off a slight angle like that, 45 degrees. And by doing that, it just means that it stops these bits folding back upwards into your plaster. So to apply the plaster to the wall, is what I do, scoop it out, and I put it on my hawk like this. I'm going to use a filling knife, but you can just use a standard plastering trowel or whatever you like to put this on. So I'm just getting a bit of plaster on my trowel like that. Just hold your trowel like that and just scrape a bit of plaster on the wall, just like that. And then go at the other angle this way and scoop back the other way. So you've got a bit on both walls. And in a minute, when we attach the bead, we'll obviously scrape the excess plaster off. Place your plaster bead against the wall, offer it up into position, then working gently, you can see I'm just squeezing that in, and all the plaster will start to squeeze through the bead and hold it into place. And what's nice about this method is that you don't need any fixings, so if you've got a masonry wall, you've got no problem at all with this. And it also means that you find with nails and screws sometimes that it tends to pull the metal in. Now by using this method, it will line itself up in a nice straight line. So in many ways it's better, it's just that you've got to take the time to let it go off. But it's only about 20 minutes, 30 minutes or so. 
and you could do something else while that's drying off anyway. Then, just get your plaster and just do that and scrape that into the holes. And using a hawk, just scrape the excess back onto your hawk like that. You know, put a bit in the gaps like that and that will hold it on a bit more solid. As long as it's below the line of the angle bead, it's not going to affect your final coat of plaster anyway. So just do that, put a little bit in the holes and smooth it in. So what you're doing with the excess plaster, you just squeeze it like that into the holes and then just scrape off like that so it's nice and smooth. As long as it's below this ridge line and it's not going to affect your final coat of plaster, then you're fine. And then when you've done this, just do the same on the other side. Yeah, importantly, go over this with your spirit level and if you need to make any adjustments while the plaster is still wet, we can manipulate the bead in and out to get it level. Then just run your trowel all the way down the bead like that. You'll make sure you haven't got any excess sticking over the corner bead. And that's how to attach angle bead using plaster. For more DIY, how-to, household tips and product review, please watch my other videos and don't forget to subscribe. I've been Pouse Around the House. Ta-ta, farewell.